Welcome to Home Farm. For this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to assemble IKEA's Brimness three-door wardrobe. For this build, you need a drill, a Phillips screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, something pointy to poke a couple holes, a hammer, a 5 16 inch drill bit or a 1 8 inch drill bit, a pencil, an Allen key that IKEA provides you with, and an extra person to help you in some of the steps. Before you start, I'd recommend keeping the bags separate from each other, and you can also put them in containers so you don't lose any pieces in the building process. So the first step is to put this long middle panel in this orientation. Make sure the unfinished side is facing the right side. Then grab two of these screws and screw them into these two holes. Then grab this small panel and make sure the unfinished side is also facing right. Then grab two wooden dowels and hammer them into these two inside holes. Now simply attach the small panel to the larger panel like this. Next, grab two plastic fasteners and secure them into these two holes. Now flip the structure over onto its unfinished side. Then grab two wooden dowels and hammer them into these two holes that are located on the bottom of the structure. Next, grab the bottom panel and put it in this orientation and then attach the bottom panel to the structure like this. Again, make sure the unfinished side is facing down. Now grab two of these screws and an allen key. You'll be screwing them into these two holes. Then set the middle structure aside and grab the right and left panels. Put them into this orientation with the bigger holes facing the top and the unfinished sides facing inward. Now grab eight of these screws and screw them into these eight holes. The left panel will have three screws and the right will have five. Next, grab 12 small screws and 6 pieces of the hinge system. On the left panel, 3 of the hinge pieces will go in like this. Make sure the arrows on the hinge system face outwards and the two holes are aligned with the letter B. Then simply attach each hinge system with 2 screws. Now do the same with the right side. Again, the arrow on the hinge system should face outwards and the holes should be aligned with the letter B. Then bring in the middle section of the wardrobe and place it like this. Next, grab six dowels and hammer them into these six holes. Then attach the right panel to the middle section like this. Now grab four plastic fasteners and secure them into these four holes. Then grab six wooden dowels and two pieces that look like this. Make sure you put these two pieces in this orientation. Now for this unfinished piece, you'll hammer in two dowels on each side. It should look something like this, while the top piece will only have one dowel hammered into each side.
Next, grab the unfinished piece and attach it to the structure like this. And grab the finished piece and attach it to the structure as shown. Make sure the two set of holes on the edge are facing down. For this next step, you may need another person's help, but simply attach the left panel to the middle structure like this. Now grab four fasteners and secure them into these four holes. Next, grab three of these metal brackets and three screws. These brackets will be secured into these three holes. It'll look something like this. Next, grab three small pointy screws and screw them into these three holes so the brackets will be fully secured. Then grab the top panel and go to the top of the structure. Put the top panel in this orientation. Now grab four of these screws and screw them into these four holes. Then grab three plastic stoppers and hammer them into these three holes. Next, grab six wooden dowels and hammer them into these six holes. You can also just hammer the dowels into the top of the structure. But the way I showed it, these two dowels will come out the other end. You can simply push them through with the small screwdriver on the other side. Then attach the top panel to the structure as shown. Now grab two long screws and an allen key. Use the allen key to secure the screws into these two holes. Next, grab four fasteners and secure them into these four holes. Then go to the bottom of the wardrobe and grab six of these scratch guards. Hammer them into these six pairs of holes. Now flip the structure over so the unfinished side is facing up. You may need another person to help you with this step. Then simply grab the backing and place it on like this. You just need to make sure that this left side is aligned. If not, then rotate the backing 180 degrees. Now go to the top right corner and make sure the backing is flush with the corner. Then grab four nails and this plastic holder. You don't have to use this plastic holder if you're comfortable with hammering in nails, but simply put one nail into the plastic holder and hammer in the nail in the top right corner. Next, go to the left top corner and make sure there are no visible gaps, then hammer in one nail. Then repeat the same steps for the bottom right corner. And finally do the same for the bottom left corner. Now grab 35 nails and hammer them all along the left side, top, and right side. Just make sure you keep an equal distance between the nails. Then grab 20 nails and nail 10 of them along the bottom and 10 along the left side to secure the backing to the wardrobe. Next, take the wall hardware and go to the top of the wardrobe. Grab the metal bracket and poke one hole on each side as shown.
Then grab a small screw and put a washer on it. Now simply attach the bracket with the washer and the screw. Make sure you don't screw it in all the way. Do the same for the other side. So I've demonstrated many times on how to attach these brackets to the wall. If you want to know how to do these next steps, go to the description and there will be a link with the timestamp. It's a different wardrobe, but they are exactly the same steps. Now if you haven't secured the wardrobe to the wall yet, the next step is to lift it up and place it on its feet. Then grab three pieces of the hinge system and six screws. Each hinge system will be secured with two screws. It'll look something like this with the arrow facing out and the screws going into the letter B. Now grab the three doors and put them into this orientation. You can put the door with the mirror any way you want, but I decided to put it in the middle. And grab nine hinges and 18 screws. The hinges will be going into these nine holes. Basically make sure the hinge is always facing out and using two screws, attach each hinge to the door. Then grab one of the doors and attach it to the wardrobe. It should look something like this. Do the same for the other eight hinges. Now grab three handles and six screws. You'll be attaching them using these two holes on each door. Basically, the two screws are going to go on the inside and the handle is attached from the outside. Do this for the other two handles. Then go to the larger section of the wardrobe and grab four shelf pins and put them into these four holes. Now grab the larger shelf and place it in like this. The finished edge should be facing the front. Then grab two screws and two of the rail holders. They'll be going into these two areas. You can also attach them one level higher. So the rail holders should simply go in like this. Then secure it using one screw. Do the same for the other rail holder. Now put the rail in as shown. Then grab eight shelf pins and put them in at any level. I decided just to put them in the middle. Now grab one smaller shelf and place it in like this. The finished side is going to face the front. Then do the same for the other shelf. Next, grab these four rubber bumpers and stick them to the bottom corners of the doors. You'll obviously be only using three out of the four bumpers. Now you should check that everything opens and closes properly. If not, you'll need to adjust the screws that are located on the hinge systems. If your doors are adjusted too high up or too low, you'll need to play around with these screws. If your doors are sticking out or are too far in, you'll need to play around with this screw. And if your doors are leaning too much to one side or the other, you'll need to unscrew this screw and then play around with this screw. But now you should have a fully assembled Brimnes 3-door wardrobe from IKEA. Hopefully this tutorial helped you out.